Hi, I'm Nacho. And I'm Susana. And welcome to the sweet life of Nacho and Susana. <laughs> Today we're going to make our lemon flour cookies. Very good for this spring that you're home and then we need to bring some brightness home. Of right? course, and we're gonna make this especially for Easter. So you can have your kids make them and that will be a very nice idea because you need a lot of hand work. <laughs> so we start with the butter and the sugar. Okay, so we put them in the mixer and then we're gonna cream that very, very good. Okay, remember that the butter is unsalted and it has to be at room temperature. If it's not, what do you do? Well, you can stick it in the microwave like around uh, 10 seconds and then like pull it out and if it's still very cold, put it back in 10 seconds yeah. it's nice and soft. You don't want it melted, nope. just, just a room temperature. So you cream it with the, with, with the butter and the sugar and wait till it comes airy and light. Okay, that when you know that, that, that the butter is cream. And tell me next to this recipe you made it when? <laughs> oh, I made it on Spring Baking Championship Season 4. We needed to do some flowers. <laughs> And these are perfect for flowers. And it's going to be a fun project to do with the kids. I remember that these flowers, when Lorraine Pascal tasted them, she said that she needed this <laughs> recipe. Yeah. And I did send it. I, I sent the <laughs> recipe. But once the, the butter is creamed, we're going to add our egg yolks. Okay? So put it in low and add your egg yolks one by one. So we have three, right? And three we're going to post our, the recipe, the full recipe, so we can have it. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to put the list of the ingredients and also a picture of it, okay? And hold on to the egg whites because we're going to show you how to make fluffy, delicious, crunchy meringues. Oh, yeah, meringue. That's one of our favorite <laughs> recipes. And, and meringue, meringue goes very anything. good on springtime. But now that it's incorporated, remember, you, you want to mix first your waiting, your wet ingredients. Okay, so now that it's there, just put it on low, add your lemon, uh, your lemon juice. You oh. can either add lemon or lime or just milk. The thing it has to be two tablespoons. You can add any flavor of it, okay? And then you, you put it back in low, and then you add the flour. All the dry ingredients. And remember when you add the flour. And just scrape down all the butter on the side. Scrape right? all the butter on the side so it will go to all the flour. Scrape it on the side and put it back again. And then you start in low. So then you just wait till it's all incorporated and uh, it forms a ball. So remember, it's gonna start looking like sand and then he's gonna grab all that butter, all that sugar and all that gooeyness and he's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be about a minute. Okay, so now everything comes together and he forms the ball, okay? Once it's all incorporated, just stop. Oh my goodness, that's yeah. nice and buttery. It's very, very nice, okay? So it's gonna be a little bit of firm. So next, what you wanna do is that you have your dough and you know it's very, very flexible. Okay, so then we're gonna divide it into thirds. So put one third here, one third here. And it's about here. like 750 grams the total, so it's like 250 per, but it doesn't have to be exact. Yeah, just do it as you please. Okay, so we're gonna put our yellow in one. And this is when you add, can ask your kids to help you, or you can put them back into the mixer and mix it like the, if you don't wanna get your hands dirty. Exactly, but it's good to get your hands dirty when you're doing <laughs> cookies, isn't it? Okay, so then we're gonna do yellow, red, and we're gonna do orange. So, so once you add the, the color, remember not to over mix the dough that much because you just want the color to get through the whole through the whole cookie dough. Okay. So now we have our colors. We have orange, we have red, and then we have yellow. And then you just do little bowls. Okay, so just grab them in your pounds and start doing little bowls. So now we have all our little uh, cookie bowls on the colors that you want. And then we're just gonna beat our flowers. Uh, we have this idea of using on skewers because they're gonna look nice and then you can decorate it. So stick the first one right in the middle and then you put it in the tray 
and then you start building your cookie around it. And you need six around and one in the center. So they'll be nice and even because you want them to cook all at the same time. This is fun. <laughs> it is. them ready you're gonna look like flowers they can be any color that you want this is a fun activity to do with a kit so just remember to press it down and then we're gonna bake them at 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes until golden brown so now we take them out of the oven let them cool down completely otherwise if you pick them up they're gonna break and here you have your flowers and we're gonna bake, make a fun project with these uh, cookies. We're gonna decorate a cake. And also, if you don't have these sticks, you can make them without them. And yep. they're just like fun cookies, flower thing, which are awesome for this uh, season. Yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, send them in the comments and stay tuned.